I mean, this problem is out of the box. So we have to have new ways to go after it. Fighting the battle against drugs. Now, for years, we've been telling you about the epidemic of heroin and opiate addiction and the rising numbers of overdose deaths. Cincinnati's taking a unique approach to address the problem. We reported on it yesterday. Could it work here? 27 First News reporter Jerry Ricciuti spoke with local experts on the idea of granting immunity in exchange for drugs. It's been done locally with those wanted for outstanding arrest warrants or with old prescriptions. So why not try it with addictive narcotics like heroin and other opiates? Listen, if you want help bad enough that you are going to bring these drugs into a police station asking for help, let's give them help. This week in Cincinnati, local judges, prosecutors, and the county sheriff agreed to offer immunity to anyone turning over addicting drugs to law enforcement. The move follows more than 300 overdoses in just the last month there. Judge John Durkin sits on Mahoning County's drug court and tells me the old notion of sending offenders off to prison simply doesn't work. We haven't addressed the underlying issue. They are still addicted to opiates. They're still addicted to heroin. Only now, addicts are mixing their drugs with the painkiller fentanyl or carfentanyl, a tranquilizer normally used on large animals that's said to be 10,000 times stronger than heroin. I don't get it. Um, that's something that just is, is totally bizarre to me. Assistant Prosecutor Marty Desmond handles drug cases and credits officials in Hamilton County for thinking outside the box. Listen, if it works, great. Um, and, and, it, and if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. You know, it, I'd rather see them try something and fail than just sit there and not do anything. Sheriff Jerry Green tells me he feels the same way, admitting it's a struggle to keep up with a drug epidemic that's changing. I never had a thought 25 years ago that we would be carrying an antidote within our jail uh, for potential overdoses within our jail. The sheriff and the others all say time will tell now how well Cincinnati's new idea works. Jerry Ricciuti, WKBN 27 First News.